Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK. On my bench today, I've got the latest version of our 4U short case, the RM404 short. And it's been a very popular case, but there's been a few niggles along the way, so hopefully we've resolved those. So, what's it all about? It's a 4U short, 400mm deep. Um, one of the problems we had before was we had, which was quite nice, a touch button on off and reset. Um, we've decided because of some of the problems with the touch mechanism just to go for a standard on off switch which doubles up as a HD activity light. So this shines up blue and a little red corner uh, flickers away when there's hard drive activity. Probably not as neat, but more practical and uh, hopefully less returns. The 5.25 bay remains, same as in the first one. And the rack mount is included as standard. Now one issue we had with the last one was the dimensions of the case from left to right were very slightly over 19 inches which did cause a couple of problems and a few people did have to use a file. Not everybody but anyway it's definitely 19 inches now so no longer have we got that issue. The second issue, although it's actually quite a neat idea, it didn't quite work 100% when you were producing a computer, we had some slide rails that went into uh, four 3.5 inch hard drive bays. Um, problem was that all well and good when he's putting it together, nice and easy, but quite a lot of people found in transit they did give or break. Uh, DHL, CityLink, Amtrak, whoever, were a bit heavy with boxes and uh, it didn't take much for the rails to break and the drives to come crashing out. So we simply opted for two hard drive cages, good old fashioned screws, so when you put them in they're going to stay. The biggest issue, I suppose, from the last one is like this one, it had this um, shelf um, with the drive bays fitted onto it but it didn't actually remove. Now all well and good if you had a micro ATX motherboard you could just about get to the the ends however as soon as you've got slightly longer board ATX or even an extended 12 or 13 because this case does take them then there wasn't really a great deal of uh, hope of getting your screws into the end of the boards or messing around with the wires to get it all up and running. So now you can see we've got two screws either side, unscrew these both sides and the whole plate comes out. Now as before it will take a standard ATX power supply. We retain the two 80mm fans at the rear. Um, now we've gone for 3-pin plugs as opposed to Molex connectors. We've still got the 7 expansion slots. And there fits your 5.25 CD-ROM or other device. Now as said, this takes Micro-ATX, Standard ATX and even a 12 or 13 dual processor boards. <clears throat> One thing, because you are very limited with space in a case that's just uh, just under 400mm deep, is the type of cards you can use if you're looking to put in like a video card, LAN card, etc. Now, the rules are pretty simple on this. If you've got something... Here we go. That's a freeware RAID card. It's got a full height bracket on it, but as you can see, the card itself is quite low. Now these, no problem at all. 
because there's plenty of room going underneath the case. So, no issue. Again, if you've got a graphics card, which although it takes a full height uh, bracket here, perhaps it's got a bit of a heat sink on it as well, um, but isn't a full height card, as in starting from the top of the bracket, then again, there's no, no problems or no issues, and it'll actually go underneath the shelf, no problem. If you've got something like this, um, this is a 1 gig uh, 9500 GT GeForce. But now it's on a full height bracket, there is room to fit it in before it um, before where it would hit the the end of the shelf because it's a little bit shorter. It hasn't got a problem. I've worked it out, if it's a full height card like this, you've got around about seven inches to play with. Now, if you've got something like um, a high-end video graphics card like this with cooling or big fans, etc., then you're pretty much stuffed, unless you don't need the optical bay. If you don't, whack it out, get yourself a hacksaw, chop in, or make a nice uh, hole for however long you need. I mean, the longest video cards is only going to come to about there anyway. And then you can have your, your full, full length, uh, high definition graphics card, but you're going to have to lose your CD ROM bay. The drive cages themselves, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but they take two hard drives each. So again, as before, you can get a total of four hard drives. The only other issue, which I'm 50-50 about, um, the case itself at the front is black. Before we had the whole case um, painted black, but they look okay when they leave here. But because it's not like on a rack mount, they don't spend a lot of money on the painting. I've simply opted just to go with the straight sheet metal tops. Um, you can wipe them clean. They don't scratch very easily. Whereas the black just, you know, it looks nice when we le it leaves here, but after a while they do start to look a bit dirty and scratchy. It's horrible. Perhaps that's a good thing, perhaps it's not, but I've opted to do it that direction. Lastly, the old one didn't support rails. This one does. Um, we've got our own range of X-case rails now, which are made for these and all our other rack mount cases. Um, so if you do need to rack it with rails, instead of just supporting it from the front ears, you now can. One small issue, well for some it is, some it's not, the old version had front USB. This version, version 2, doesn't as yet. Um, where are we? We have February, just start of February 2010. If you're listening to this video after March 2010 it will have front USB. But the first batch, my cock up, forgot to order USB. So, sorry about that. But um, the next batch will have, and um, I'll put a little note on the video when they are on front USB. We may change the case slightly or do another version which gets rid of the front optical 5.25. Um, we'll fit a slim one in, um, either sideways on or a bit higher up in the case which will then allow for full video cards and a slim CD optical device. Um, anyway, that's just a thought. Not happened yet. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. So there we have it. Version 2 of the RM404 short. Thanks for listening.